Welcome to Time Beat Breaking News Channel. Here are our breaking news today. 1. The debt is at its highest level since World War II, and a tax war is coming. 2. Family separations for illegal border crossings are prohibited by the Department of Homeland Security. The United States. The debt is at its highest level since World War II, and a tax war is coming. President Joe Biden's $6 trillion budget proposal, released on Friday, paints a more complete economic picture than his April preview, in which he outlined his spending objectives. The budget outlines taxes and spending for the fiscal year beginning in October. A 10-year vision, on the other hand, includes multi-year expenditure on infrastructure, education, childcare, and other domestic initiatives advocated under Biden's American Jobs and American Families initiatives. According to the budget, the government debt will rise to a higher level than it was during World War II in terms of the size of the economy. Republicans will have greater ammunition to attack Biden's tax and spend plan as a result of this. In 1946, debt reached 106% of GDP, the highest level since World War II. By 2031, according to Biden's plan, debt will account for 117% of the economy. It is projected to expand to 113% of GDP if no reforms are made. The administration claims that the level of interest payments, not the quantity of the debt, is the most important metric for determining whether debt is burdening the economy. According to the White House, the government's annual interest payments, after adjusting for inflation, will remain significantly below the historic norm for the next decade. The United States. Family separations for illegal border crossings are prohibited by the Department of Homeland Security. As part of the Biden administration's effort to reverse the impacts of former President Trump's zero-tolerance policy, Homeland Security authorities formally barred separating children from their parents who are captured illegally crossing the U.S. border on Friday. Miller's memo included a national security provision, allowing CBP and Border Patrol agents to refer a legal entry to higher-ranking officials and local attorneys for prosecution. The zero-tolerance policy was a short-lived initiative in the spring of 2018 to prosecute all undocumented border crossings, with a focus on family units crossing the U.S.-Mexico border. Adult parents and guardians who crossed the border with their children were punished under the program, which resulted in coercive family separations by U.S. border officials. Parents who are recommended for prosecution on national security grounds would still be separated from their children under Miller's new instructions, as a standard practice for detained parents or guardians in criminal cases. President Biden issued an executive order in February establishing an inter-agency task force to reunite families separated under the zero-tolerance policy. Miller's message is a follow-up to that order. According to an NBC News report published earlier this month, the families of 391 children separated under Trump's policy have yet to be reunited, out of a total of over 5,500 families separated between 2017 and 2018. Thank you for watching. We help you stay up to date all the news hourly. Please subscribe our channel to follow up the latest one.